hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a church flyer using photoshop 6c before any further i do let's get started here i'm using 4x4 inch cheeks so these are the tests i'm going to use in this tutorial so color copy the color code then you paste it here then these are the material used then drag it up here scale it a bit now apply your gaussian blow okay Then select your gradient tool to blend over here. Then change the blending mode to color dodge. Then I'm going to import this dove. Position it this way. Then change the blending mode. Then apply your layer mask, then you brush over here, the bottom here, the top, and the right side here. It's okay here. Yeah. All right. Then you duplicate it. Take it over here. Then change it the direction. Then reduce the opacity. Then apply this in fact. Position it over here. All right. Now change the bloody ocean. I mean the bloody mode to ballet. Then you copy the church name. Then place your logo. I'm going to drop a shape here. Then apply this color. And I'm going to apply a round shape at the bottom. Then I'll drag it up over here. Then I'll reduce the size. All right. Then I'll position it around here. Now, paste the test you copy. Reduce the font size. Then you duplicate it, Ctrl J. Then come over here to copy your test again. Ctrl plus V to paste. 
then I'm going to select them and group it then apply vertical alignment then copy your test again ctrl plus c to copy then I'm going to duplicate this one ctrl plus j then ctrl plus v to paste Now apply vertical alignment, Ctrl plus D to deselect. Then now bring this image. This image is for tutorial purpose. So all the people you are seeing here are not pastors. So I'm just using this image for tutorial purpose. All right, now come back here to copy their names. All the names here are created by me, so these are not their real name. So beware the disclaimer that I'm using this image for tutorial purpose only. All right, we are done with the name. Now select them and group it together. Then come over here again to copy your test, select your test tool, then Ctrl V to paste.
then change the font color to this color then reduce the font size Then come over here again to copy a text. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then you copy your text again. Then you paste it. Then change the font. To this font here. I'm going to leave the font names in the description below. Then you scale it out. Okay. Now I'm going to select them together. Then reduce the font size. Then I I'll bring it over here. Then you group it together. Then I'm going to apply a blending option on this test. Then input the numbers you are seeing here. Then apply a drop shadow. Apply the numbers you see here. So the contour, you select this one. Then the noise, you make it one. So you click OK. Then change the font color to this color here. Then you click OK. Then copy the layer style. Then you paste it here. Then Ctrl A to select, apply a vertical alignment, Ctrl plus D to deselect. Then increase it a bit. Now, apply this light effect.
Then change the blending mode to screen. Use your mouse to drag it up this way. Now draw a rectangle line here. Then apply red color. Apply vertical alignment. Come over here to copy your date. Select your test tool, then change the font reduce the font size then divide it change the color to this color here Select it, then copy your time and paste it, then drag it over here and position it. Reduce it. Then you bring it over here. Control plus U on your keyboard. Then I'm going to copy this one. Now select your test tool and paste the test you copy. Now I'm going to add to the address. Okay, then group it, so this is your location, 
Ctrl A, then apply vertical alignment, Ctrl plus D to deselect. Then draw another rectangle line over here. Then duplicate it, Ctrl plus J. Then I'm going to change the color of this one. Then I'm going to bring this image again. Then I'll position it like this. Then right click, create a clipping mask. So this is the outcome of it. Arrange it properly as you want it to be. So thank you so much for watching. Please, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.